guys, welcome back. So today we're continuing work on our collaboration with Tiny from uh, the Brain Dead Brothers. Um, so we were able to get all the paint off this frame last time and now it's ready for our undercoat and our white paint coat that we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna be using uh, rattle cans, um, doing the primer, laying the primer today, coming back in a couple of days, wet, wet dry sanding that back nice and smooth and then laying on our white so he can scribble all over it. As always, make sure you, with your, when you're painting and anything with a gun, with a can, making sure that you're doing long, even strokes all the way and getting all that coverage. Make sure you're getting those uh, tight little gaps and, and having a look at your whole project as you go along. So if you shoot it off on one side, you might miss a, a couple of bits and then when you put it together you'll be like, oh, I've missed this underneath bit or I've missed this part over there. So as you go through a couple of coats, maybe try and do um, from different angles. I'm going to do this one and I might spin it around, bring it up higher so I can see my different spots as well. Alright, let's get into it. As always, it's better to do a few light coats than one heavy coat. So I'm probably gonna hit this two or three times with my primer, make sure everything's covered and get in all those fiddly bits. And then we'll be able to let it dry and make way for our top coat. Okay, so we're back outside. We've had our undercoat dry for a couple of days. I've gone over it this morning with a little bit of extra sandpaper, 600 on some of those imperfections, then 1200 just to smooth out those areas as well. Today we're using Duramax, Dulux Duramax. It's not what I usually use, but it was the only gloss white that they had in the shops. So we're going for that gloss white canvas so Tiny can do all these drawings all over the top of it. I'm gonna do, it's a well, it's a little bit colder than the other day when we did the undercoat, so I'll just take it really nice and easy with these light coats, and hopefully we get some good results. So I started with a light dusting and tried to get into all the nooks and crannies uh, before I do my next heavier coat. So light dusting over most of it and then trying to hammer those hard to reach places that might get missed when we're doing our repeat coats. I'll let this one dry for 10 or so minutes, come back and we'll layer on those coats. So that's two coats down. I've changed the position of the bike so I can get into some different uh, spots and get nice even coverage. Let's finish it off with a couple more coats and then we'll see what our product is like at the end. All right guys, so we've got our final product here, our nice clean white painted frame, all ready for Tiny to do his drawings with a black paint pen over the top, a nice black and white theme. During this process, I also had a crack at doing a couple of rims. So this is just 36 spoke rims there that were pretty crappy and rusty. So I smashed it with the acid bar, came back across with 60 grit, then 100 grit, then 400 grit sandpaper then hit it with that undercoat and then that lovely white on top and they've come out really, really well as well considering what they started with. 
Hopefully we can get some cool little drawings on them as well to complement the frame. When we put it all back together, it'll be a fully themed brain dead brother's bicycle, which is, I'm really, really excited about. Next time you see this one, it should have the drawings all over it and we'll be putting it together, ready to ride. Thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Keep riding.